Welcome to my allotment UK. My name is Mike Brotherton. Well, what a heat wave we're having. Filming this shot now, I'm having great difficulty in seeing the viewing screen. The sun is so bright. So, what have we been doing this week? Well, we've been concentrating on watering, obviously. And one of the things I've been doing is I've been trying to remember the 1970s when I used to do or assist the time of motion expert on site positioning concrete mixers and uh, where the uh, loading base should be on, on the building. And uh, yeah, and I was also asked could I put my uh, ideas onto a plan so that you can look down on the top of it and see how my watering regimes work out. And the other thing I was asked to do, could I do uh, delayed action shots? And I've done that and I've got it down now to about 25 minutes. What you'll see on the video, I did the A roll and the A roll is the one that's got the timing at the top. That was to help me piece the clips together to form the A roll. And where there's uh, no writing at the top, uh, or about timing, let's say about uh, ten, uh, 3 minutes 11 seconds or something like that that's written on the top, if it hasn't got that on, then I did it on the B roll. So I've tried to show you what I'm in the shots each time, but I did have to uh, stop and start uh, because I had to set the camera up. It wasn't possible for me to take a shot. That took the whole view of the plot. So that, that goes on to that. And one of the things that came out is that rather than do uh, water station three next, I should actually do, I should do station five next because you see that when I was on that that was uh, the longest pausing and waiting which is what time of motion study does and the second thing is is that it's quicker to dunk watering can rather than fill it from the, the tap but by using two cans while one's filling I'm using the other so that benefits that but when I'm in this area where I am now and I've got these potatoes here uh, to water then uh, I need a dunk and I think the and I've got the dunk over there but I think that what I need is to put it in the center so that I can get straight in and dunk that way while I'm getting water because this is a very slow tap anyway is the one that's that's behind me. So that's that. What else have I done? Well I've repaired the fruit cage, done that. I've had another harvest of uh, strawberries, full punnet this time. Uh, I've uh, sown some more sweet corn uh, to fill in that gap. I've uh, planted some tomatoes on there and um, I've made a start on making the base uh, for what's going to be station five. Okay, so let's get on. I'll show you the video of me uh, running around at top speed doing the watering, and I'll catch you later.
25 minutes. Water and exercise done. I'll now start making out of uh, an old pallet the staging to put the water barrels on. Just this one length and I'll cut it in two and it will make uh, the two ends. But I'm afraid that top rail will have to be taken off and replaced. Now have two matching ends. I'll just take a short piece and measure the width of an existing one because uh, the pallet width is just a little bit wide for a path. Using that board as a marker, I cut it to size and then cut another three. So I've got four side rails which we nailed on the end that's duly fixed and we take the other end frame place it on top and nail that together the stand is turned over and the process repeated on the other side we can now randomly put the top on Just any Timber that's free, nail it is on, and when it's nailed, cutting it flush. No measuring. And for a bit of extra security, I secured uh, the rails into the ends of the other rails. All systems go in putting timbers in, nailing them on and cutting it flush at the end. like a, a table but it's not a Chippendale it's just a, a rough and ready base to put on a water butt. All I need now is the tap from uh, eBay and uh, we can secure it, fill it with water and we've got another water station. I hope you enjoyed that video uh, on there it's been reasonably busy. If you did like the video, a thumbs up would be nice. While we're talking about subscribers, we've got Harry Roberts and Harry Roberts asked me about some flowers that he saw in the background on a neighbour's plot and he wanted to know what those flowers were. Well I can inform you Harry, they weren't flocks, which is what I thought they were. They're called Sweet Rocket and they're very nice and they smell beautiful and the butterflies certainly like them because as I took these shots uh, there was plenty of butterflies flitting in and out so I, I reckon they're a good a good flower to grow on an allotment and while we're still on the flower theme we have uh, um, another subscriber VN Cougar and she said oh don't to get rid of those poppies and um, I haven't and uh, they're now coming into bloom on there. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the, uh, uh, the video. Thumbs up would be nice. If you uh, haven't already done so, please subscribe. And to get further updates, you have to ring that bell. So, take care, look after yourselves and... Uh, Bye.